to my channel. It's been a while. I am Janita, the diabetic lady. And first, I want to give a welcome back. I'm going to start recording again and uploading again. I never stopped recording, but I couldn't upload because I didn't have internet. That's why it's been a while since I have a good internet, I could record and it edit and all that. So, um, well, welcome back. <laughs> um, I was saying I am Janita, the diabetic lady. I type one diabetic and I created this channel because I want to, um, share my story, share um, about my diabetic condition and all that. And of course, because I'm sharing about my condition, I need to share a little bit about my life too. And that's why and what I'm going to sh share today. Um, first, I want to say that I move. I was living in North Virginia and now I'm living in Columbus, Ohio. I start doing all that process in summer. Finally, I have a job in here. I have an apartment, I have internet, and finally I start to have a home here. So I'm very excited because even with COVID, everything is kind of difficult especially to know new people but being here in a new place and founding my own place is being great in that way so yes that is the first thing that i want to update to you um what else oh the second thing is that i start a new business i I start a business with pharmacy and pharmacy is a company that came um, from Turkey they have more of 70 years or of experience and they have these foreign products that are without toxic and most of them they're vegan they don't use animals um, ingredients they are not tested in animals they don't use um, stint or protected uh, plants and of course they have their own cultivation in their fabrics and where they do every product so that's why those products are more clean and high quality and I've been working with that a few months and that is the second thing that I've been working on and doing a lot and taking me to have a lot to do and keeping me to, with a lot to do and um, well, learning all that process and moving here and all that. Well, the third thing, um, is the reason why one of the reason why I moved to Ohio and that is that I decide to have a marital separation and well because of that I decided to um, to move to Ohio because it wasn't it was it, the, it is less expensive and that is um, the truth. Um, my brother moved here a few months before me, so those two were the thing that made me um, decide to move here to Ohio. And I know that I need to talk a lot about what is going on with that and I'm not going to explain it a lot of the private details or personal details but I want to share my own experience and what I'm feeling what I felt and what 
I was thinking in that moment and what I'm thinking now and that is something that I want to do and that's I'm going to start a separation series because when I start all this process I noticed that there's a lot of information for divorce but not for marital separation so I want to talk a little about um, my experience and what was happening and what is happening right now more details with my update and my how I'm feeling right now and what I'm thinking to do or what is the next step that I'm considering um, I'm going to do that every uh, Friday if I'm not mistaken yes every Friday I'm going to post a, or upload a video that is related to my separation and it can be about my mo me moving to a new place without knowing anyone and it can be about how I'm feeling or uh, what steps I needed to do at some point or I don't know it can be a lot of stuff um, but it's going to be related to of my separation um, the other thing that I want to say is right now I've been having a very good control with my sugars or my glucose um, they are not perfect of course I've been having a lot of struggle with emotion and that always affects my um, levels but um, yes I've been still having best control right now that any other time in my life and I'm very happy happy I'm very happy about that for my diabetes um, I feel like right now I'm struggling finding a good endocrinologist in this area I don't trust a lot of endocrinologists and I have a new insurance that I need to start to understand and adding to that uh, the work that I have now I cannot um, I don't like to take time from my job to go to appointments I always try to go after or before I mean before or after and or the weekends because I work Monday to Friday. Um, what it happened? What is happening um, from Monday to Friday is that the time that I work is the same time that um, any doctor office is open. I've been trying to find and see if I can find a office doctor that is working on Saturdays just to have those for refills for my Omnipod and Descam and yes I still use an Omnipod I changed to Omnipod Dash and I still have a uh, Descam G6 and the easing that I'm using is a P draft I the name got out of my mind but um, those are my treatment right now and it's been doing so well that I'm very very happy for that I still learning using the dash because I don't trust in the in dash if you use the dot um, where you put your BG and you are low if rest the amount a specific amount of insulin that you need like when you do the correction but you do it backward and I still don't trust in that so if I have some specific number on my glucose I just don't enter the numbers but I'm going to get better about that um, 
at some point and well i think that is going to be everything for this update um i definitely oh yes uh, all the diabetic um related video i'm going to post those on let me see i think it's on tuesday so i'm going to have two videos per week on tuesday i'm going to have videos related to diabetes um dia diabetes oh my god i cannot talk <laughs> diabetes and on friday i'm going to have everything that is related with my separation and how i am handling all that so i'm going to have a lot of content please subscribe give a thumb up if you like it and i hope to see you in my next video that is going to be on friday